can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Um, the 180 pounds man climbs up the ladder and stops at the position shown after he senses that the ladder is, is on the urge of slipping. Determine the coefficient of static friction between a uh, friction pad at A and ground if the incli inclinations of the ladder is um, theta equals 60 and the wall at B is smooth. The central gravity for the man is at G. Uh, neglect the weight of the ladder. So for this question over here, it's a really, really simple one. Once you draw out the um, free body diagram, I would really suggest you to do question 16, which is the same, you know, same question, but a different version before this question, right? And, um, but yeah, let's uh, solve it real quick. So use uh, some of the, we can al always find the global equilibrium, right? Always find the, um, global equilibrium, so use some of the forces in the y direction equals to zero, so 180 pounds, so this is uh, Na going up, minus the weight of the body equals zero, so Na should give you 180 pounds, right, and R, let's just say that, you know, friction at A is equals to 180 pounds times mu, right, well, 180, we proved over here, is the normal force, right? Friction equals the normal force times the mu, uh, which is the uh, the coefficient of static friction. And um, now we can use the sum of the forces in the x direction, right? Equals to zero. That's pretty easy. And that would give us nb equals um, fra, which is um, fra equals 100. 180 mil. So now um, we used the sum of uh, y and x, so we can use a moment. And uh, the best way to use, let's just use, you know, some of the moments at A, right? It gets rid of uh, most amount of unknowns. Some of the moments at A, because there's only one unknown, right? There's only one unknown we're looking for mu. Everything else is being solved. If there's two, maybe try to use A, right? Because there are two forces and two equations. But use B, uh, it's safer. Well, that's not true. Never mind. Yeah, if it's, there's two unknowns, we have to do both moments. Since there's only one, pick the easy one. So some of the moments at A, uh, that goes counterclockwise is positive, zero, right? So that's NB is creating a clockwise rotation, right? NB, uh, let's try to you know, the uh, simplified version, which is 180 times, well, expanded version, right? Times the distance, which is... Uh, 10 feet times sine of 60, right? Uh, this is what we're getting, and this is creating, this is negative, right? And then plus the positive direction, which is created by G over here, right? It's creating a counterclockwise rotation. Uh, 180 pounds times, um, let's see, so cosine of 60, that's half, times 10 feet, and then minus 3. So let's just uh, put everything this into parentheses, right? Because you know this, then we found the distance over here, and uh, this whole thing equals to zero, right? And plug everything into your calculator and solve for mu, right? This should give you the cosine, and that's half. Five minus three is two. Two hundred thirty-six. This equals a huge number. Uh, so in reality, it should be 0. Point, I think two. What did I get? 0. Point two three, uh, oh nine, uh, round to two uh, three six six zero point two three one, and that is the value of mu. Right? 0. Point two three one. Excuse me. Relatively simple one. You know, um, I can definitely again definitely encourage you to do. Question 16, if you have the time, right? This one doesn't really test you on much. That one is a little more challenging. It requires you to do a 2 by 3 matrix. But anyway, this is a quick and short video. Hopefully you liked it and uh, was able to help you with your studies. So good luck, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.